take a picture of it on my phone. What on earth is this? What have they done? <laughs> wow! ¿Qué es esto? Wow! What is this? What is that? What is that? It's, it's like someone's gone. Here's a tub of paint, make sure you yeah. use it all. Use all the paint, because this is what we've got to play with. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Anybody want to make head and tail of what we're supposed to do here? <laughs> hi Lindy, hi Heather. Am, am I socially distancing with this? Are we crossing? Are we running? What on earth is this? <laughs> we're back in Benidorm. We are in the centre near to the town hall and we've come home to a paint job. <laughs> I have no idea what that is supposed to be. So if anyone wants to make head and tail of that, feel free. I have seen some news reports of them saying that it's been an essential job that they've done. But... It, it's, it's a pedestrian zone. <laughs> pedestrian zone. So they've drawn lots of people on it. Well, there's people driving on that bit still where there's pedestrian people. Yeah, yeah but it's like a shared space, isn't it? <laughs> wow. But we have right of way. <laughs> what on earth? Look at that paint job. Apparently, we're going to see another one in a minute. So that'll be fun. <laughs> wow. I just... Right, that's a beautiful paint job in uh, Benidorm. So when you come over you'll see all the people i think maybe it's because it's not so busy at the minute so if they paint all them people on the floor it looks like it's busy hiya mum i saw evening, everyone. <laughs> evening from all as thousands in benidorm <laughs> we're all on the floor painted on <laughs> tell you what it's a bit odd and all hot to wear in a mask compared to uh, everywhere else in europe where you don't wear a mask outdoors but of course in Benidorm, it is the law. So back to being outdoors. Thanks Sarah for the stars and thank you Marion. What have they done while you've been away? I have no idea, what have they done to it? Oh, there's another one near the park. I can't wait to see it. I feel like if you'd laid down with it, you could lay with all your friends. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks for the stars, Jeanette and Rachel. Evening, Joe and Kath. Even, it's the borrowers. <laughs> Love it, Linda. Even, uh, thanks to the stars, Jackie. Good evening. Evening, Adele. Evening, guys. Glad to see you back safe. Oh, thank you. We got back not too late last night, did we? About, about seven o'clock. Half seven. Half seven. In time for Ace's show. Right, walking by the pet shop now. I always feel sad walking by this pet shop. I always feel like the animals. I feel bad for them. They're sitting in that cage. Bless them. Thanks to the stars, Marzena and Anne. Evening, my favourite bed on trio. Glad you're home safe and sound. Oh, thank you. We had a nice uh, journey back yesterday after Salu. It was, it was an all right drive back, wasn't it? We're listening to Michelle Obama's audio book um, as we're on the way. So yeah, that was nice. We've come back to some scorching hot weather in Benidorm though. Not used to it. It's been quite cool um, in Northern Europe. So now we're back in Benidorm, it's like heat wave, even though I think it's not actually been that hot today. <laughs> it's felt like sweltering. But yeah, it's a nice evening and uh, the sun's just about to set and it's, it's been a nice day in Benidorm. We went to go see uh, Viv and Claire and, her, and their partners and that was really nice and they'd, they'd made Rio with a dog bowl. Well, Claire had made Rio a dog bowl. Uh, and I'd put Rio on them, which was lovely. And she'd made two heart-shaped mugs for me and Alex, which was nice. It was like a nice little, didn't expect it. They just said, oh, you know, do you want to come round? And I thought, oh, that was nice. We are uh, socially distanced in the garden around the pool, which was nice. And then they'd, she'd made us those, which was lovely. Right, have we got any more of them people? No, no, not round here. So we have got the angel. We've got the halo up there wonder if people can get a picture looking like an angel at night. If you wait till it gets dark and you could have your photo here, you could stand there and you'd look like an angel. I'm going to have to try that at some point. <laughs> That's one of my tasks to do. Right, I've heard, well, it's looking pretty positive in Benidorm, I would say. I, I must say I was expecting worse, was you? After seeing Salou, I was expecting a lot worse than this, I must say. 
Um, but yeah, it's looking, I mean, look, the old town is looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. I mean, I know we've got a lot of residents that are here and there's a lot of Spanish that are here um, on holiday. A lot of Spanish on holiday, which, which is good. Let's walk down here and into the, the balcony. Um, you might have seen that I did a post that Pedro Sanchez has done an announcement that every um, autonomous region has now been given the government power to, um, to make their own decisions regarding state of alarm, which sounds scary to some people that state of alarm is back on the cards, but in actual sense, it's, it's quite a positive thing um, in my view, because it means that the country won't get blanketed. So like some, some areas when we went into full down lockdown and things, um, that it might not have been necessary that they had the such a stru strict lockdown as what they had before. Um, or they might not have needed a lockdown at all. Might have just been that they needed to stay within their own region to not, you know, they, they could have pretty much normal life. Um, so in, in a sense, it's actually pretty, pretty positive because if there was some area that needed to lock down, uh, they can have their localised lockdown without it affecting the rest of the country. So in a sense, it is, it is quite good news, even though it doesn't kind of sound that way. It, I know you see the word state of alarm and all lockdown and it kind of sounds a bit like scary. It sounds a bit like it's heading that way again, but that's not the case. The numbers are, I mean, the testing is going up. Um, so obviously positive cases does reflect that. Um, but in, in real terms, it's, it's kind of a good thing that the governments have been given their own power. Evening, uh, Andrew. Welcome home. Ah, oh, thanks. Thanks for the stars, Mandy. Good evening, Margaret. Evening, Rita. Thanks for the stars, Stu and Susie. Good night out in Benidorm. <laughs> yeah, all passed out on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But they just uh, maybe some people fell over and they just drew round them. <laughs> thanks for the stars, Lindy. Lovely to see you back in Benidorm. Isn't it nice to be back? Do you all feel like you're back tonight? I feel like we got, a, we got back Monday night and Tuesday night straight back into a walk. It's kind of like back into the routine that Tuesday night is our walks around Benidorm, Van Levante. And I was thinking about putting sort of like a schedule, a bit like the TV guide. If we put up um, like the five or four or five walks that we're going to do a week, if we put what time they were on and like told you on a Monday, so you knew for the week, would that be helpful? Or would you rather just me tell you in the day when we're kind of like, oh yeah, we're going out? What do you think? If I made a little TV guide on the Monday, let me know. Looks quiet for August. It is quiet for August. It is. But we've got to take the positives that we can get. There's a lot more than I expected to be here, which is, uh, I've got to say, a lot more uh, positive than I, than I had expected. Not, uh, not the best having to wear masks everywhere but if that's what um, that what keeps us out of out of a lockdown so be it there's yeah, very good live music on tomorrow night in town oh whereabouts are you out and about on Friday I'm sure we will be <laughs> good to see you guys in your home terms it's an like amazing time we had a really good time didn't we it's flew by isn't it Felt very long. <laughs> yeah. It all seems like a blur. I think time just disappears when you're on holiday, doesn't it? Like everything seems absolutely forever ago, but also feels like everything was yesterday. Everything kind of merges into one, and it's a, it's a little bit crazy, but it was good. <laughs> thanks for the stars, Tracy. Oh, and thanks for your stars, Claire. That was really nice of you. Nice to see you back from Castleford. Oh, thanks, Denise. There is a there is a lot going on in the old town. I am actually really happy to see that this is the uh, that this is the situation in the old town. I know a lot of people were messaging me saying they were getting really really worried about coming over to Benidorm, thinking that all the bars were going to be shut and. And obviously there is still the restriction that bars do have to close um, by 1am. But as you can see, there are a lot of places that are open. Um, and to be honest, most people seem to be doing their holiday as pretty much normal um, at the moment around this area. 
we'll try and head into more or less the new town as it is and then later on in the week we'll we'll go further down there um to see what the situation is down there um obviously nightclubs are not allowed to be open um, and live music does come into that although i do believe there are some live music going on <laughs> um i think it kind of depends on what sort of live music if i'm, if I'm right I think when I was looking at it, it kind of depends on the context of it. Thanks to the stars, Debbie and Linda and Tracy. Bless you. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thanks to the stars, Linda. A couple of asking if it's okay to share or tag their friends, and obviously, absolutely, it's absolutely okay. A few coughs going around. Glad I've got my mask now. Just had three weeks in Alicante. Already miss it. Richie and the St Bernards in Wales. Oh. Even my little friends, at least it's fine there. It's blowing a gale and raining in Sheffield. Oh no! I did see you said it was. Um, I did see you said it was uh, very blowing a gale, but no, it's been lovely here today. It's been a uh, lovely weather. It has been nice. Storms here. Oh, where are you, Carl? Where's the storm? Thanks for the stars, Paul. Um, so in Benidorm at the moment, uh, tables have to be 1.5 meters away but you can't smoke unless you are two meters away. Um, so if you are gonna smoke, maybe make sure one that either the bars move their tables to two meters, which it looks like these ones have. Uh, so maybe just double check before you, before you smoke um, or, or maybe just take a step away. Um, but yeah, that's the situation at the moment. Just while the pandemic is still ongoing um, and while there still are rules in, um, in, in Spain and Benidorm in general. Um, so if you are, you know, a smoker, do keep that in mind because that is still in place. Don't know where my likes, loves, etc. have gone, but they're not on here. So I say I love you, Wart. Oh, oh no, Rita. They've gone hiding. <laughs> They've gone disappearing. They've gone on holiday to Benidorm. <laughs> Thanks to the stars, Carolyn and Claire. Oh. Some people buy the coach and horses. Oh, did we not been by there yet? I thought we'll have to uh, have a look. <laughs> Evening to Rio's trio, back home again. We may hear the proper story of what's happening as the song goes, welcome home. Oh, thanks, Stan. Hopefully uh, can do what we can to kind of bring things as it happens. I'm going to be uh, a lot more active now. I'm back on home soil and... Uh, Keeping a, keeping a closer eye on the news and things like that. So, although I was kind of updating while I was away, I wasn't as uh, rapid and I wasn't quite up with it and I wasn't quite as quick as I normally am. So now we're back home, it will be a case of, uh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna be on top of it. All oh, right, let's take a look at the balcony because there's the sun setting, I bet it would be nice. It's a nice place to watch sunset up there, isn't it? I was expecting a ghost town, but it's great. So was I, Hayley. That was exactly what I was thinking. Um, you know, it's actually relatively nice to see it like this. After, Especially after Salu, I must have said, once I saw Salu, I was expecting the worst. I thought, well, if Salu's like this, I can only imagine what Benidorm's like. But in actual fact, it's not as bad as I expected it to be. Doesn't look nowhere near as quiet in the old town as I expected. That's exactly what I thought, Sharon. You know, I think it's, I think it's quite good. Um, and, you know, if you do want to share it and show people that there are people here in Benidorm and there are, you know, it, it is not as quiet as I think a lot of us probably expected. It's lovely to see it looking relatively normal. I agree, Sally. I, I must say, I really was thinking it was going to be pretty, um, pretty dismal. First time watching you live. Oh. Welcome, thanks for joining us, Graham. Oh, Rio. Stopped in front of me and tripped me over. <laughs> oh, thanks to the stars, uh, Lisa. It will buy us a drink uh, <laughs> when we've done. We'll stop in somewhere and have a drink. Maybe even a mojito, beans, it's been quite a while. <laughs> thanks to the stars, Carolyn and Stephanie. I bet we all feel like we miss Benidorm, don't we? You're all sitting at home thinking I'd love to be there. I know, I know how you feel. When I was away, I kept thinking, oh, I'd quite like to be back in Benidorm now. <laughs> Great to see everyone wearing masks, no matter what. In the UK, they don't wear them. Hmm. 
that is not good. There are uh, there are hefty fines for people who uh, don't wear them. I do believe it's around a hundred euros, and that's each time. Remember, um, and then if that doesn't work, they are looking at other other um, fines, other penalties. That's the word. Other penalties if uh, if people weren't abiding and wasn't, and if you know, if somebody just thought, oh yeah, I paid the hundred euro, paid the hundred euro. So there are other other penalties that go around. Thanks for stars, Carol and Andrew. Coming on the 17th of September. Not long to go, Christina, but your countdown's on. It's also nice to see that all this is back open and back on. There you go, Benidorm is open. Look at that sunset. How could you not want to stand here and see that sunset? I must say, they, I mean, we went to a lot of lovely places, but I don't think anywhere kind of had a sunset that tops Benidorm. Say that wholeheartedly. Will you still be doing the lives now you're back? Yeah, we'll still be doing the lives. <laughs> we'll, uh... Isn't that nice to see? I mean, if you have ever been here in late August, early September, you will know that this is very quiet for this time of year. But, oops, we have to take what we can get. There you go, look, here's a sign up in the Castel. It is prohibited to smoke, so you can't smoke up here. Um, you cannot occupy a table uh, if a person... Customers are informed that a table cannot be taken until staff accommodates. So you've got to wait until um, the personnel takes you and you are prohibited to smoke. So that's just that bar's rules. <laughs> summer holiday starts here when you hear that music and he's got his mask on Warned us, Spanglish, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 pm, please. Oh, Scott, that's mean. I would never cross with Ace's show. Never. Maybe. <laughs> that would be brill, then you can sort your lies around it. Oh, that's good then. I'm glad you all um, seen a few replies saying that you like the idea of the TV guide idea. So yeah, I'll sort that out on a Monday. Um, I'll post the week. Uh, what we'll do is we'll be a bit, be a bit, what's the word? Spontaneous for this week. And then as of Monday, I'll start posting what day and time um, we're gonna go live. And that way, if you, you wanna make, you know, you wanna set an alarm or whatever. I know some people like to know when they can see Benidorm and things like that. Um, or even if you just say you know in advance, that might be all um, helpful. TV guys got out it, but I also like being notified. You'd still be notified, it will still come up. Um, so if you've got notifications turned on, you'll still get that message that, that comes up. Um, just if some people like it and just a bit more in advance. If you want to sort the tea around it. <laughs> You're blocking the church bells. Oh, thanks for the stars, Asa. Asa's watching. Yeah, and he sent us 50 stars, look. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. Do the shops stay open late and what time do they close? Uh, as far as I know, shops can open the same as um, they have been before. Um, I do believe it's just the bars that have to be closed. Um, but oh, yeah, I'll definitely look into that because that's a good question. Not one that I'd actually thought of, to be honest. So yeah, I will look into that. Uh, thanks for that, Alan. When does Alex go back to work? Alex went back to work today. Yeah. Poor Alex. Oh, let's play the harpsichord for him. Oh. I had to drop in for about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm 
back in kind of properly next week. Meanwhile, I've been working the whole summer. <laughs> oh, I, I chose not to have school holidays. <laughs> yeah, he's back um, on Tuesday. Hope you've enjoyed your travels. We did, thank you, Scott, really did. To be honest, the schedule would help us as well because I'd know, one, we can work it around Alex's work so we know exactly what time we're going out and, and sort it. And it keeps us in check. <laughs> All those shops open late, I'd be skint going to Vendor. <laughs> but you'd have a great time. Hi, home. welcome back. Text me tomorrow if you can. Oh, yeah, I definitely will do, Martin. I'll drop you a text. Um, yeah, for sure, I will do. I shall do. Love to see you all back in Velodor. It's nice to be back. I know a lot of um, a lot of people feel like they come back to Velodor and it's like they feel like they're home. And it's nice that it is our home and we do get to, to know that this is home. But I know it feels home to a lot of people. Which we were saying, um, well, I was mentioning to, to Claire and I mentioned to Alex as well today. I think Benidorm's the only place that, we went to all these lovely places, but Benidorm has that sense of community that I don't think anywhere else kind of really has. That we could be on this page and we can meet all these different people and all these people that love Spain or love Benidorm and you kind of all group together and then you can, you sit in a bar and someone will start chatting to you and I think that's probably one of the nicest things about Benidorm for me, that it is that sense of, everyone chats don't they everyone gets to know each other and you know people will message us saying oh we're over do you want to nip by so and so bar and i oh, know we love it we love having a chat and things like that i was surprised by the irony over nine hotels over there saying he wants upper class in benedorm and not working class benedorm was built on the working class yeah i did see that news before um yeah i don't know if maybe he regrets saying it um but the thing about benedorm is a lot of people built bars and hotels on being you know kind of budget friendly being somewhere that accommodates to having everything if you want the luxury style you've got Taija Gardens you've got you know you've got Villa Valicia you have got lovely places that you can go um but also it was built on working class people who just want a two-hour holiday to come over and have a lovely time so I really don't think that yeah I don't think that was the right uh, decision but at the end of the day that's his opinion and we, we all have our own opinion in these situations but I don't think it's one that will reflect everywhere God, I can't even remember how to get to the new town <laughs> you will go this way you know I suddenly just went blank then I was thinking hang on a minute we're heading back into the old town how am I gonna get there <laughs> So there are still a few hotels that are closed um, or hotels that sadly did open and then had to close again. So if you have got um, a hotel booked or anything, do, uh, you know, of course, do make sure it is open. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that we're seeing, uh, people are seeing their favourite bars and things. We watched a video uh, the other week of Disney and it was like, oh, look, there's so-and-so bar that we went in and... Oh look, that's so so ride we were on. So I know exactly how you feel when you're watching these Benidorm videos and you can point out, I know, you know, for some people you come to Benidorm 12 times a year or 20 times a year and for some people you come once a year. But it, it's nice to be able to stand there or sit at home or I don't know, wherever you are, sit on the train or what have you and go, oh, that's so and so, we like it there or that's so and so bar. Uh, I know exactly how you feel after watching them Disney videos. <laughs> Thanks for the stars, Alison. We are back, Jane. We are here. Evening. <laughs> I enjoyed your journey around Europe. Oh, thanks, Catherine. We did too. We definitely will not be uh, moving for quite a while now. <laughs> one home-cooked dinners and the bed is back. So that's, that's one. Rio was so excited for one to be home. But also, yeah, that, that took some saving up. I will tell you that. <laughs> It will take a while before we go on holiday again. Um, but we might be able to sneak a weekend away somewhere that we can take Rio to, somewhere in Spain. Um, they're all going well. 
and hopefully whenever quarantine is lifted we'll be able to take some or i'll be able to while alex has worked take some quick trips back to the uk back to routine seems a long time ago since i first watched you walk on a tuesday a few months ago doesn't time fly i feel like we all know each other now we've all got to know one another and we're all here and we all like benadorm <laughs> thanks lynn storm francis in manchester hey we've got sea mediterranean in benadorm <laughs> There you go, it's quite nice and busy along the promenade as well. I must say it is a, a positive view to what I did expect to be seeing. I was kind of thinking that this is going to be like an awkward, like, oh no, kind of sad sort of video. But I am quite pleased to see that Bella Dorm looks pretty okay. Thanks for the stars, Julie. It does look fairly busy. I know, I know. I mean, I know that August is normally rammed, and you kind of like shoulder to shoulder sometimes walking along here. And obviously, there'd be normally a lot more people on the beach. But it is five to nine. The beach does still close at nine o'clock, as far as I'm aware. And it does seem that everyone is packing up. And I know there'd be more people normally this time of night on the beach, but it is looking okay. It's getting there, as we say, or as we say in Spain, poco a poco, little by little. I'm due to come the 15th of September, not sure what to do. It is totally a personal opinion, um, personal option, Jane. Personally, now I'm here. Um, when I was in, you know, Switzerland and things, I was looking at things on the news and I was looking at bits thinking, oh God, what is Benidorm actually going to be like when we get back? And you kind of look at the cases and you kind of look at what's happening in Spain. You look at the British news and... And I must say, I was also a bit like, a bit nervous about coming back. But now I'm here. Like I say, it's a personal opinion. If, if the UK quarantine's still on, that's another thing to keep in mind. But, you know, the bars are open. The beach looks pretty nice. And when you've got a view of the sea and, you know, I'd rather be at home in my balcony room overlooking the Mediterranean with a glass of wine than maybe sitting in a living room thinking, oh, I wish I was there, I wish I'd have done it. I wish they'd taken me with them, aww. <laughs> Thanks for the star, Janine. Um, Anne, you send stars <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> dog barking at rear. Um, at the bottom, near the love hearts and things, that's where the stars button is. <laughs> Why don't you do TikToks as well? We have actually got a TikTok. When we were in the height of quarantine, we did little TikToks, dancing mainly, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> dancing TikTok quarantine. Oh, oh, do it again. <laughs> oh, I hope you caught that. <laughs> I hope I'll turn the camera quick enough as he was dancing around the promenade. I'm really sorry if I don't name the bars I walk past them. There are so many that I just end up walking past. So if there is something specific you ever want to see, do let me know and I will try. New town is probably quiet. I do think it's going to be quieter the further along we get. I am going to think of it that way. Um, and we will show the new town. We'll walk as far as we can. Perhaps not all the way in though, not as far as um, the Flamingo or anything like that, but we will work, walk a little bit further down. But I do think it probably will start thinning out. But then, hey, I might be wrong. My birthday's Friday in Benidorm. We'll be having lots of cocktails. Oh, fantastic, Danielle. Happy birthday for Friday. Do love a good cocktail. What a melon Great to see you back in Venezuela. So much busier than Facebook would have you believe. Exactly, that's what I was looking at. There were so many posts on Facebook and stuff saying it was absolutely dead and things like that. And I was kind of getting a bit, uh, yeah, I was unsure. But it is looking, looking okay. Do you like the shop that sells everything white in the old town? I've actually never been in. 
I do always look at the outside and think, oh, that looks nice. But it's always one that I've never wandered into. I'll have to go in at some point. Um, at the moment, it's late 20s. I think it's probably around... Let me check my watch. Let me find out. Ah, stop doing it. No, it's not doing it. I think it's about 24. It's sweaty. Um, sweaty with these masks, so I'll tell you that. I think you should get back on the matches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Them matches at Mateo's are lethal, I'll tell you that one. I like the banana rama though, that was a good one. <laughs> 27. Oh, 27, Alex says. Thanks to the stars, Phyllis and Nigel. Reading Tui are cancelling, so I don't know where we stand for November. I did see that Tui are cancelling quite far ahead as well. I think it's hard to say, isn't it? I know with a lot of Tui holidays as well that people have, have booked their package, so don't want to move to what they've done. Um, but EasyJet and Ryanair seem to be to be keeping going. It's all just a waiting game, isn't it? Evening, Joan. Hope you're well. I can sit there all evening and listen to that man play. Wasn't he wonderful? Um, Benidorm COVID cases are still very, very, very low compared to other areas in Spain, yes. A lot, lot lower. Thanks for the star, Sean. <laughs> what was it like going back in your own bed? Yeah, it was, some of these hotel beds, I must say, were really comfortable. Um, and my bed is not the comfiest of double beds. We're living in a rented apartment and the bed is what you get. So, although it, it was like my bed, it was not much different to a hotel bed. Thanks to the stars, Claire. Can you please give a shout out to my daughter Chloe and her partner Vic? They live in Calpe. I haven't seen them since Christmas. Oh. Hi Chloe and Vic. Hi. <laughs> Julie says hello. Oh, I'm trying to keep up with the comments so I can tell I've not done it in a while. I'm, I'm lagging behind. <laughs> Thanks to Stars Carol. <laughs> so it says, can you avoid plan warts to clash with ITV soaps? Have I clashed with the soaps? Oh, you're gonna have to tell me when they are. <laughs> I'll, have to, um, <laughs> I'll have to have a look. So sad, not out there this year. Looks so beautiful. Can't wait to return next year. Different type of holiday with a plus one. Ah. Oh. Congratulations, Abigail. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. You little one will love it in Benidorm, splashing in the water and playing in the sea. Thanks to the stars, Vicky. I know so many of you miss Benidorm. Take off your mask, see how awkward it gets. I'd rather not. <laughs> I would rather not. Thanks to the stars, Karen. Alex excited going back to work. I think you are quite ready to go back, aren't you? It's been a long time. Yeah. Now, when she got five minutes, she was starting to get a bit tired on the trip and everything. I'm getting sick of her. Tired. Travelling around every day, moving on to the next place. Driving and having to lug casing everywhere and the washing. Oh. So, yeah. The washing is the worst. <laughs> yeah, back to structure and routine. Thanks, for the stars, June. Nice to see you back. We're also having Storm Francis. Oh, we've got Storm. How do they close the beach and why does it close at nine? So, what they do is they just block off all the entrances. Um, so, like here, this will get closed off. Um, and then the police will patrol it, so you're not allowed on. So the beach does close. Don't know how I sent 100 stars, but I did. <laughs> we just seen you on the bed on webcam. Oh yeah, same. We're trying to pre-book flight seats for the rear door in November, but now it won't let us. Mm. That might be through your flight, is it? Or is it because of the rear door itself? 
Thanks for stars, Peter and Rich. <laughs> they all want to see you doing more of that dance. Oh, oh, oh. Just a teaser. Got to go elsewhere to see that. I think I'll post it on Facebook at some point, all the way down on the videos. Thanks for the stars, Linda. Thanks for the stars, Rosemary. Has Alex had a drink? No. It's just happy go looker. That popped out of Alex. <laughs> Thanks for the stars, Carolyn. Does anyone else find the picture quite blurred when watching this video on TV? Oh, mm. and most people normally send it and say that the video is really clear on TV. So I don't know. I think my mum and dad watch it on TV and I don't think it's blurred on theirs. Could be your uh, connection. Are masks compulsory in the street? Yes, they are. They're compulsory everywhere in the street. Thanks for the stars, Robert. Oh, everyone said they wish they were here. And everyone that said it was perfect on their TV too. Ah, I don't know. Um, why don't you wear the plastic visor covering? Because in Spain you're not allowed them. Um, you do have to wear a mask. It's not allowed to wear a visor. If you wear a visor, you have to wear a mask too. So it just makes it doubly hot. There you go, heart breaks open. I know that's been closed for quite a while. The sights and sounds of Benidorm definitely lift the spirits. Aww. Who has the most energy between you two? Who has the most energy? Yeah. When you're not so, when you're tired, I'm normally awake. And when I'm awake, you're normally the tired one. We're yin and yang, aren't we? <laughs> or is it a planner? I am a planner and I, you're I'm not. It. <laughs> yeah. We are like kind of opposites. <laughs> Hi Christine and John. Hi Ning. You sound very happy to be back Lauren, very chirping. Aww. How can you not be when you're in Benidorm, eh? How can you not be? No one keeping the distance up because they're wearing masks. Yeah, so you are, if you're wearing a mask, the social distance doesn't, doesn't come into it apparently. Um, and that's because of, at first it was you need to wear a mask if you can't socially distance. So places where you can't socially distance then became mass compulsory. Now they've just made it mass compulsory at all times. Um, so in the bars and things, the reason why you have to keep the tables apart is because your mask is down. So like these people here will be sitting and they're, they've got it up at the moment because they're waiting for the drinks. Um, I use them as the models. Um, but once you're sat down, you take your mask off. So that's why there's a, that's why there's a distance. I don't know if it's my phone or not, but can't hear a word I like to say with the mask on. He is quite muffled. I've sent 99 stars. This is my first purchase of taking payment when we receive stars. I'll have a look when it's finished, Dan. It doesn't let me go back. Um, but I'll have a look. I will look for you. Oh, thanks, Joe and Anne, for the stars. Different Anne, just to not confuse you there. <laughs> there was an, an Anne at the same time. Can you show Casa Balance Hotel? You'll have to let you have to give me a clue where it is, um, and then perhaps on another video I'll do it unless I'm nearby, and then shout at me and tell me it's near. And there's the Sol Costa Blanca. We watch it on the Facebook app on Apple TV, and the picture's brilliant. Oh, good. Uh, next to the right area, can you show where the Hotel Bristol is? Yeah, absolutely, we can do. I think if it's blurry on TV, maybe the storm's affecting it. Yeah, that's true. TVs do get, um, TVs don't like the storm, do they? So there you go. Now it's uh, nine o'clock. People are, there's still a few people wandering around, um, but majority are leaving. And I'm assuming the, the rest ones will be, will be told relatively soon. Oh, thanks, Nick. <laughs> And thanks to the stars, Marzena. We'll walk a little bit further along um, and see what it's like nearer to the new town. Um, and then we'll, we'll catch you tomorrow at some point, somewhere else in Benidorm. But yeah, if you do want to share it to anyone that wants to see what, um, 
what Benidorm is like at the moment. You know, absolutely feel free if you want to share it to your wall or, or what have you, or tag a friend in here if you want them to see. And there's a lot of people that are, you know, worried about it and things. I mean, rightly so, people will get worried, especially we get worried about things we don't know, isn't it? So it's nice to be able to see it and, and see firsthand on the ground what it's like. <laughs> Good evening to everyone in here with the Rio Trio. Rio is the star. I'm not really showing him much today, have I? Have we? Rio! <laughs> he walks around, I don't know if it's just us, but he kind of walks around like he owns the joint now. Like, he kind of walks as though, yeah, I've been to lots of places. Like no one can hear you with your mask on. I feel like he's got a bit of a, a strut. Yeah. Back. A bit more of a strut than he had when we left. Is it busy or still quiet? It's, you have to take it for what it is. We have to take this, the, take the situation into consideration. Compared to other places, it's busy. Compared to Benidorm in this time of year, it's quiet. Um, so yeah, taking everything into account, it's, it's pretty good. Um, but obviously it's not, not the extent of what, what it's like at the moment, what it's normally like, I should say. And Rio is such a happy doggy. He really is. He is so happy, so chirpy. Yeah, he definitely makes things, things nice. Uh, walking towards the symbol. There we are. There it is. Just as uh, the comment come through. There it is. Six weeks and you're back in Benidorm. Fantastic. Has anyone else got any Benidorm holidays booked soon? Um, could you show us the Port Fiesta Park Hotel uh, sometime? Yeah, absolutely. We can do. Nice to see Benidorm again. Aww. When in Benidorm, we were still at Dunes Suites Apartments, which are further down, we get brilliant views. They do uh, nice drinks and food in Les Dunes as well, don't they? Nice spot. Uh, is Calypso open yet? Um, I don't know. Uh, if I go by, I'll have a look. Um, my post is a bit out of date, out of date now, so I can't really tell you to go look on the blog because I've not really been on it. Um, I did used to have an up-to-date hotels list. Um, but since being away and since um, quarantine was imposed and stuff, that's kind of gone out the window. So I've got to kind of scrap it and start again. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do a whole new list um, of who's open and things like that. Because at the moment on my website, it's kind of got that Don Pancho is open, which it's not. Um, and there's a couple of others on there that had opened, like the Rio Park, that then had to say that they had to shut again. Um, so I do need to go back and do that again. So that is one of my jobs for this week. Amongst everything else. <laughs> I wonder what it would be like during the day. Ah, well, on our walks, we will be coming back in the day. We will be showing you. How was Rio when he got home? Rio was so excited when we got home. He knew we were home. He did know we were home. We, as we pulled up outside the apartment, he looked out the window, then stopped, looked at us, looked out the window again, pulled a face, then wagged his tail and was barking and was, oh, he was so excited. <laughs> Rio's definitely got a new swagger in his step. He has, he literally walks like, yeah, I've been to different places. I've left Spain. I've been to Switzerland. <laughs> I've been to France. I'm a, I'm a good dog, like he knows. <laughs> yeah. I think it's confidence that he's been to other places that he's not so confident in. And now he's like, well, I know this area. I think it's a bit like Rio's relief. Like, ah, oh, I'm back in Benidorm. <laughs> Thanks for the stars, Donna. Can't wait to be back September 20th. Ah, oh, I'm not long to go. Our place is still open late. We're due the 5th of October. Um, so bars have to be closed by 1 a.m. at the moment. But that is just something that's in place at the moment for two weeks and they'll look into it again. So by October, you know, we, we could be going by October going, oh, look, everything's open and everything's good. Like it's, it's a kind of take it as it comes at the moment. Um, but as it stands at the moment, bars do still have to, to close by one. Yeah, it's starting to thin out, look. The further we get into to Levant, um, yeah, into the new town, the, the more it's thinning out from the old town busyness. Thinking about booking for next week now, I've watched this. Oh, it's nice to see your live feed. I've never been to Benidorm. Oh, what do you think of it, Lulu? 
what must it look like for somebody like on an outsider not an outsider that sounds horrible but somebody who's never seen it before because i know a lot of people that watch this like they watch it because they've um because they've been and because they loved it yeah someone who's not been before what what does it look like to you like because obviously when we moved here we'd been many a times and, and i know most people um have been before so what does it look like to someone who's never been what part of Bendham is this? We'll come here one day. It's so nice. So we started the video in the old town. Um, and if you're on um, like a travel booking page, if you want to stay near that area, you can put Balcon de Mediterraneo as your point of interest or the town hall, um, which is one. And then this area itself now, we're starting to come into the, the new town. This is Playa de Levante. So this is Levante Beach. There's a, a lot of lights off still in apartments, so there's still a lot of um, still a lot of people that are not making use of their, I'm guessing, second homes. I sunbathed top on the beach there. My sister Irene didn't like me doing that. <laughs> Rio never looks tired. N never, except when we were in the car. And he'd sat up the whole time and then he started like he'd be sitting up and his eyes would be dropping and i'd have to get in the back with him and sit in like kind of stretch him on my knee just so that he'd kind of uh, do a little bit of five minutes kip welcome back to vendor your home we love rio like you guys oh thanks for that deborah rio's got an extended family now haven't you? Rio! <laughs> He's like, no, we're walking, we're, we're on a business. If only Rio could talk. I really wish I knew what Rio thought. Do you ever think that about your dogs and stuff? Just wish you knew what they were on about or what they were thinking. I'd love to roller skate on your roads, they look smooth. A lot of roller skaters um, in Bendorm, it's very popular, especially on this bit here. Um, which I'm assuming is the bit that you said you'd like to roller skate on. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of people that do roller skates along here. Of course, Rio's got a strut going. After all, over the last few weeks, he has marked what is probably the largest territory of any dog in Europe. <laughs> he has marked some territory. <laughs> that is very, look, he's like, he's like, I'm boss. Look at me go. <laughs> feels like there's nothing he's not seen. Hi Gary, you can't see my smile because it's underneath his mask. I was like, do I, do I try, I don't, I don't even dare put the mask down so like, I risk it, I don't even dare. One, because I'm not loud. And two, there's nowhere that I can kind of get to, to, to do it. Here's Le Dunes. Pasa, pasa. <laughs> Oh, they stopped so that I could take a picture. That was cute. This would have been our second week. Oh, sorry to hear that, Margaret. Have you been able to um, reschedule? I <laughs> love Rio and you both for travelling. Oh, thank you, Victoria. Hi, Lauren, Alex and Rio. We're supposed to be coming this Thursday, but we can't cancel. Oh, no, Wendy. Have you been able to reschedule? And what do you both do for work? Um, Alex is a maths teacher. Um, I originally was a tutor here, but now I do social media. Um, so I kind of make photos, like make different pictures and write captions for different companies um, and do like the marketing. Uh, what nationality is Rio? Rio is from Spain, um, which makes it a lot easier for when we do want to bring him back over to um, England and things. Um, because when the English dogs or British dogs come over to Spain or over to France, it'll be hard work in January um, and it will take some prior planning um, with a, a medical certificate that will need to be done four months in advance. Um, but as the EU passport will still be valid for entering the UK, um, that makes it a lot simpler. But yeah, I'm just glad that we, we got him from Spain and that he's got a Spanish passport. Um, so that's good. It means he doesn't have to quarantine either when he goes to different areas in Europe. 
I've never been to Benidorm, I've only seen it through your videos. I'm definitely gonna book from next year. I always forget you've never been to Andrew. I always forget that. We, um, we wrote out our postcards today, so we're sending them out tomorrow. And I always forget, even when I was writing your postcard, I forgot you've never been. Next month's gonna have to be a, um, gonna have to be a Benidorm postcard for next month. <laughs> It looks beautiful. Never been to Benidorm before. There's a few of you. You know what? There's more of you than I thought. I'm spreading more Benidorm around than I knew. Never been to Benidorm before, but looking at your walks made me think about planning a family holiday sometime. Oh, that's lovely to hear, Claire. Oh, doing wonders for Benidorm tourism, aren't we? <laughs> We're all um, championing it. All of us together, giving it a bit of a thumbs up. It's nice, isn't it? Benidorm looks lovely, the place I want to go, but as a single traveller, I'd need advice on the best place in Benidorm to go to. Um, okay, single traveller. I used to come to Benidorm as a single traveller um, before I knew Alex, and even when I did know Alex, I used to come here on my own. Um, it all depends what you kind of like doing on your own. If you're somebody who likes kind of being somewhere quiet, then definitely stay um, kind of near the Grand Hotel Bali or in Ponienti area. Uh, if you're somebody that likes to sit in bars and meet up and chat with people, then definitely the New Town. Um, there's pretty, I don't really know of any hotels that are, are very, um, you know, like keep away from. I, I wouldn't even say, you know, keep away from the Yellow Brick Road, I would say, late at night, um, if you're on your own. Um, and just kind of keep vigilant, just like you would in other places. But on the whole, um, as well, I wouldn't really go to the strip on my own if I was somebody coming as a solo traveller either. But there are lots of places in Benidorm which, coming on your own, you'll, you'll just meet up with people, you'll chat away. And there are different groups as well that you can join on Facebook where they have uh, different single travellers that are also coming. Um, you know, women or men alike that both come on their own. So in uh, Kai Beach, they're doing temperature checks and they're sanitising your shoes when you go in, um, along with the sanitising your hands. Right, let's save anything more for another video. Let's n find a little bench where we can sit down. <laughs> We've all adopted Rio. <laughs> Have you been to Mateo's yet and what it's like? Uh, yeah, we went to Mateo's, um, just as it opened. It's good. If you like the Ben Norm TV show, then it's well worth um, having a look. Uh, the cocktails are around 8 to 10 euros. Uh, the magic is 10 euros. But yeah, if you like the Ben Norm TV show, it's definitely a must visit. And hey, you might see some people in there. We saw Jake Canuso when we went, didn't we? And Darren Lipton, obviously, was there too. Right, should we pick Rio up and say ta -ra. Oh, my thumb's like, can you see that? <laughs> my thumb was like, whoop! Right, you just see my friends are in Bender as you walk past them. <laughs> You'll have to tell them you saw them. Right. right. You okay? Have a good evening, everyone. Right, have a good I evening. I wish you'll catch evening. you tomorrow. Yeah, I thought I've got a swap on me now. Um, right, we're going to go to, oh, you can let me down. I'll sit down. Um, we're going to go to a bar. Them stars just there. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a drink. <laughs> right, see you later. Have a good evening, everyone. Um, I'll let you know what time we're going live tomorrow in Benidorm. Um, somewhere different and in the day, so we'll see what it's like in the daytime. Feels weird not being able to show my face. I feel like I have to do more with my eyes, like to make up for it. Yeah. Bye. See you later. Bella wheel.